Hey all, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. Guys, I'm Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. Recently, I added a new playlist for Azure Virtual Desktop. So this is day two of AVD online session. And in this session, I'm going to help you to understand about the prerequisite to set up Azure Virtual Desktop host pool, AVD host pool. So let me show you the topics. Let me show you the content that I'm going to cover today because uh, I'll try to give you the complete uh, content according to the blueprint of Microsoft uh, uh, Azure AG 140. 140 is a basically, you know, that the uh, certification name. So you just need to open Google and type uh, Azure AG 140. It will give you the complete information about content. So this is day two. So according to the day two content, plan and Azure Virtual Desktop implementation that we have already discussed about the basic thing like as a, uh, the usage of uh, uh, different different services that help us to configure AVD. This is another session. So in another session, I'm going to help you Azure Virtual Desktop components we have already covered in previous class. I'm going to add the uh, uh, previous class video in I button. You just need to click on I button and you, and you will find the first session of uh, recording. Okay, Azure limit, uh, limitation for Azure Virtual Desktop, Azure Virtual Machine sizing for uh, Azure Virtual Desktop, Azure Virtual Desktop pricing. Actually, if you want to understand about the each and every points that are mentioned in this particular uh, the, the, this particular module, so definitely first of all you need to set up your own uh, uh, AVD means you need to set up your own AVD host pool, and after that you can proceed with that. So that's why I am going to give you the basic information about how to set up the AVD host pool because the entire content that you are find here you are able to uh, you are able to make a changes with these content you are able to implement these content if you have other AVD host pool if you have a running AVD host pool then you are able to implement simple so that's why I'm going to give you the basic information about the implementation process okay so our agenda to set up AVD host pool so what are the prerequisites that you need to keep in mind To set up Azure Virtual Desktop AVD host pool, our responsibility we should know about the basic of networking. I'm talking about the Azure networking that we have already discussed in previous class like this. And once we complete the part of win a winnet, this is another point domain, you need to set up domain, then intra ID which is considered as Azure Active Directory. And the final you need to discuss about the AVD host pool implementation, right? how we can establish our Azure Virtual Desktop implementation. So in this class, I'm going to give you two information about the networking and domain controller. I'm going to divide it into two different video, one which is related to the Azure Virtual Network and another is related to the domain controller. And then we'll talk about the Azure AD, AD Connect and uh, then host pool. So back to the portal and let's try to implement the services. This is our Azure portal and over Azure portal, first of all, you need to create your own virtual network. Let me create one virtual network, VNet for our AVD host pool. This is the resource group. I don't want to create a new because we have already created. AVD VNet, it's up to you. It's up to you. You can put any name, right? So I'm going to proceed with name of AVD VNet. Central US is our location, next, next. And this is the part of our subnet that we have already discussed like as a Azure will give you two different types of VNet creation. One is default VNet and another is create your own VNet. So definitely I wanted to create my own VNet and let me find the CIDR value. So let me proceed with slash 25 means you are able to connect up to 128 devices. Net, next click on the subnet. AVD subnet. You just need to type the name of uh, your subnet, AVD subnet and Yes, I wanted to utilize the entire space that we have, right? 128 devices I wanted to connect in our AVD subnet and VNet. Review and create. This is first step. First step, you need to create your own VNet. And after that, once our VNet is ready to use, I'll create virtual machine of server 2016 and 19. The server machine of 2019 or 16 that help us to set up our Azure, sorry, not Azure, ADDS, Active Directory Domain Services. 
Why it is important? Because whenever we set up our AVD host pool, let me show you. Whenever you try to set up our AVD host pool, we have a two different option. Let me show you. Just just a basic understanding. AVD any any name because it's uh, just uh, okay personal and pooled. So I wanted to proceed with pooled. Next, this is the panel. And in the panel, whenever we create our virtual machine, it will ask you, please provide me the details about our, your domain. So we have a two different option. You can proceed and create your AVD host pool by using the ADDS service, Active Directory Domain Services. And second option, you can choose with Azure Active Directory. See, Active Directory means ADDS, and this one is the Azure Intra ID, which is considered as a Azure Active Directory. Earlier, recently, Microsoft changed the name of Azure Active Directory, and now it's a uh, available with the name of uh, Microsoft Intra ID, right? So currently I'm trying to set up our AVD host pool by using the as, uh, Active Directory ADDS services. So that's why I created a VNet and under the VNet I'm going to create a one virtual machine of server 2016, right? Once our virtual machine is ready to use, I'll create the, uh, not create, I'll install the ADDS service, Active Directory Domain Services in server 2016. And by using the same server 2016 Active Directory service, we'll install and configure our AVD host pool. This is our agenda. Guys, try to understand about the value. Try to understand about the concept of AVD host pool prerequisite. Because if you have idea about the prerequisite to set up our Azure Virtual Desktop host pool, then definitely you are able to set up and troubleshoot the issues related to the AVD environment. This is server 2016 that will use it uh, for the active active domain services so next fine 3389 enough but make sure the virtual machine that you are trying to create must be available in same winner that you created because if you want to convert any machine from work group to domain your work group machine and domain machine must be communicate to each other first prerequisite and the client operating system must contain the prefer and alternate DNS IP address, right? So if you set up the prefer and alternate DNS IP address to our client, then you are able to create convert it from the work group to domain. So it is in progress, validation pass. When our, once our virtual machine is ready to use, we will proceed for the another step, but now let me help you to understand about the concept means the that the task that you that, that you are trying to perform with your azure portal okay so in avd environment see in avd environment to set up a avd host pool what are the prerequisite the prerequisite are we need to create the vnet right our responsibility to create VNet and the VNet should be contain ADDS service, the ADDS service that we are able to uh, install on only and only server 2016 or 19, it's not mandatory only 20, no, 16 or 2022. After that, you need to set up Azure Intra ID right which is considered as a azure ad and the final step that you need to perform which is azure avd host pool yes avd host pool and as discussed the avd host pool contain two different option one is pooled and another is personal avd can give us option to create vm to set up virtual machine and using same virtual machine, we are able to access through the multiple user, user one, user two, user three, like this. So right now we are on page of first, like as a, a, a VNet. Once we complete the part of VNet, we'll move ourselves to the virtual machine and install one active active domain services. So in this class, I'm going to help you to understand about the part one, like VNet and about ADDS implementation. Next session, we'll discuss about the Azure AD and uh, about the AVD host pool creation. Our virtual machine is ready to use. Make sure the private IP address of this machine 
192.168.1.4 this is the private IP address you need to use the same private IP address as a preferred DNS so open networking go to the Ethernet part in the Ethernet properties you need to find you will find the option of DNS under the DNS server need to provide private IP address this is preferred DNS and second alternate we don't have alternate so that's why I'm going to proceed with a dot a dot eight this is the global address the both IP address you need to configure in the properties of our domain and now once you save the details about your preferred and alternate DNS IP address back to the VNet yes back to the virtual network that you created same prefer and alternate DNS IP address you need to configure in our VNet's property select DNS server customize and type the IP address of our 192.168.1.4 this is the preferred DNS alternate we don't have any alternate DNS IP address so I'm going to proceed with 8.8.8 it's really important for us because over a virtual machine I'm not talking about only the Azure VM if you are trying to set up your server operating system over any cloud and you are trying to configure manual IP address on your Azure virtual machine or cloud uh, AWS virtual machine definitely once you configure the manual IP address in VM you will lose the RDP so that's why keep in mind you always need to configure the private IP address in the properties of Ethernet or in the properties of VNet I'm going to connect our virtual machines and then install the Active Directory domain services. Now we successfully configure the preferred and alternate DNS IP address so everything is okay. Next proceed with another step install the Active Directory domain services and uh, after that we'll move ourselves to synchronize the users from our ADDS to the uh, AVD host pool. But before that, let me show you the domain that I have already added with my Azure Active Directory. Let me open the Azure Active Directory security and uh, Microsoft Intra ID. So I have already uh, added my domain in our custom domain name, Sintra ID custom domain name, cloudsupport.co.in. So we'll use the same domain name. Yes, we'll use the same domain name to install ADDS service in our Windows server operating system. So this is the RDP, simple step you need to use to install Active Directory domain services. Same procedure, add role and feature, then install role and after that promote the role. It is in progress, so we have wait for a few more minutes. Simple, install the ADDS role, Active Directory Domain Services. This is first step, install the role and second step, we can promote the role. So we have wait for a few more seconds. Okay, so uh, ADDS service installed successfully, role installed successfully and you need to proceed with this option, promote the server to domain controller. This is first domain of our environment, so that's why you need to proceed with add a new forest. Domain name we have already discussed, cloud support dot co dot in right this is the domain that i'm going to create because the same domain na name i have already purchased from the godaddy dsrm password you know that directory service restore mode that help you in case of system state backup if you have already configured the backup if you want to configure the backup of our uh, active directory by using the system state service then the same password you need to provide once you restore the backup right so we have to wait for a few more minutes 
because it will take time to install configure the system state pass or DSRM password. Provide DSRM password. Next, next it will find the NetBIOS name and by using the NetBIOS name we are able to convert our client machine from bar group to domain right. This is the final step next, next it will check the path and uh, the prerequisites right this is the final step of to checking the prerequisite if everything is okay it will give us option to install. So guys this is the way that we can use to install the active active domain services in Azure virtual machine for the AVD host pool because our agenda to set up the AVD host pool and if you want to manage the AVD host pool environment we have a two different options one you can proceed with the ADDS and another you can proceed with the Azure intra ID sorry Microsoft intra ID. So make sure you have a much idea about the Azure intra ID like as uh, Azure Active ID and ADDS service. Fine, everything is okay. The prerequisite uh, we successfully provided all the prerequisites. Then need to proceed for installation. So, guys, this is day two of our AVD class, and uh, you need to set up your own VNet and our own domain controller. Because in next class we will discuss about uh, how we can manage our intra ID. We'll synchronize the users from Azure uh, from ADDS to Azure Active Directory, and by using the same user account we will uh, set up our AVD host pool. So that's it for today's session guys, we will connect tomorrow and discuss more about the AVD. Thank you guys, take care, bye bye, do subscribe your on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel, take care guys.